Debbie and I here for our Friday Roundup, but before we get started, um, somebody had a big birthday this week. Yep, and a really big one. <laughs> oh, really big one. Yep. I don't. I don't mind though telling people how old I am. Uh, I know some. In fact, when you've done it in the past, people get get mad at you. They're like. You shouldn't say Debbie's age. You shouldn't tell people Debbie's age. But I don't mind people knowing I'm 57. It's okay. Well, you got people love the fact. I posted a photo of you and on social media, and you got a lot of comments. Very nice comments, and um, and uh, so we're grateful for those. Yeah, it's kind of funny. I was on when I was doing my local live Q and A on on Tuesday. People were like, "Well, how did how did you guys celebrate the birthday?" And I'm like, Debbie's really low key. I mean, to, I think for you, an, a, kind of an easy going day where we just get some good food and bring it home. <laughs> right? Well, that, that's kind of my thing every day. <laughs> <laughs> Not just birthday. It's, uh, you know, you know, I like it. I like yeah. just being low key. I like staying at home. I'm a homebody. I don't like to go to parties. I don't like to, you know, celebrate. Well, we got we have we have some new neighbors, and so this past weekend we pre-celebrated Debbie's birthday by going out with them just to get to know them better. They're after all going to be the guys next door. Really nice couple. It was really really fun. All right, let's talk about what's going on in the world, and um, I want to start with this um, ominous meeting and handshake between Nicolas Maduro, the dictator of Venezuela. And one John Kerry, you were, well, hopping mad about it, and rightly so. Yeah, and so, and the reason I even knew about it is my cousin from Venezuela uh, sent me a video. He goes, can you believe this madness? You know, he was super mad about this. And, of course, you know, on social media, there are a lot of people that are saying, wait a minute, wasn't Nicolas Maduro, what, wasn't he, ha didn't he have a $15 million bounty um, because he's a narco-terrorist? And, and so the State Department had a bounty on him. Um, and here we are, you know, seeing John Kerry at the e Egyptian summit, the climate change summit in, in Egypt. Um, shaking hands with him. What, what's up with that? And so everybody assumes that it's because Joe Biden and, and Carrie, um, love pow, you know, uh, what is it called? Palling around. Palling around with terrorists. But, you know, it goes much deeper than that. And you had, um, uh, someone the other day, Frank, uh, Gaffney. Frank Gaffney the other day, yeah. talking about the access of evil in the in on our western hemisphere and about how these are marxists and they're taking they're taking the western hemisphere in a marxist direction and so so my concern is not so much the narco terrorism although it's horrible but it's it's the fact that the reason John Kerry and Joe Biden like Maduro is not so much anything other than the fact that they're on the same ideological Spectrum. Yeah, this is a really important point right? because I think uh, there might be people naively who look at this and go, okay, we know what's going on. Number one, uh, John Kerry is very concerned about climate change and Maduro is making the same noises. So there's a climate change sort of solidarity between them. Or alternatively, Joe Biden needs to try to bring down gas prices to reduce his unpopularity. He needs to get some oil out of Venezuela. So this is an opportunistic move. But you're saying, no, there's a deep ideological alliance here. Not mm -hmm. that they're ideologically the same, but uh, they're similar they're and very, they're working in concert. They're very similar. I mean, and, the, the, and who's the they? Let's go through okay. the Okay, because so, it isn't just those two guys. No, so it's Lula, okay, Lula in Brazil, Brazil, and of course Maduro, and he's just following Hugo Chavez's footsteps, right? Mr. 21st century socialism. Um, and then of course it's uh, the United States, the le you know, the Democrats, which a lot of Venezuelans don't still don't understand the similarities. Of, of, of the party, of the Democrat Party and the Venezuelan Socialist Party. So uh, so the alliance is definitely there. And uh, probably, let's see, who well, else? Well, continue. You have Chile. Chile, right. You have, uh, well, you have Mexico. Uh, Mexico uh, Lopez Obrador is, uh, is a socialist. Peru. Peru, yes. In some ways, I think you wouldn't even include Justin Trudeau. Because, oh, yes, absolutely. Uh, oh, for sure. For sure, right? Yes, uh, yes. Did you know that recently uh, Biden, Trudeau, and Obrador 
got together for one of those joint diversity inclusion statements, yes, yes. basically committing all three governments to promoting uh, ethnic and cultural and well, gender, I mean, perhaps look transgender. At, look at who started this whole ethnic thing. Uh, Hugo Chavez did. And, uh, you know, just demonizing the white people in Venezuela. And, and this is a trend. So people think that that, uh, you know, in Venezuela, oh, no, 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 that's a different kind of socialism. Well, OK, maybe it's a different kind of socialism in that it involves a lot of narco, you know, terrorist, terroristic threads in there where we whereas we don't. But the ideology is exactly the same. They still divide people based on socioeconomic status. They still divide people based on race and ethnicity. So uh, the division of people, making people hate each other, is, is something that is definitely going on. And I think even on the narco-terrorist side, it's not as if the Biden administration is promoting narco-terrorism, but they are in bed with the cartels on the border they're issue. In, so they are right. they are complicit with narco-terrorism because they recognize it's a predict predictable consequence of policies they actively support. Right. And so, in, in, and in a way, uh, it is kind of a, the, the access of evil, right, is going to come back to bite us because uh, this is this is just horrible. And, you know, it really reminds me also of when when Obama and Hugo Chavez were seen, you know, chumming around, shaking hands, Hillary Clinton. I mean, all of these people, You, it, it's not it's not by sheer coincidence that Hugo Chavez and Maduro like the Democrats and not the Republicans.